Alola friends, Dapper Driver here. We're walking into the mall here now. Um, about ready to go to that uh, pre-release for Crimson Invasion. That's right, Crimson Invasion today. Wow, this lighting's really bad. Uh, but we're going to get registered, just uh, get set up to be able to start opening packs. And we'll see you guys when we get some stuff. Hoping for that Cortana. See you guys soon. Hey everybody, we got our kit. Let's see what's in it. If I can get it open. Alright, that's cool. not to see Ernie today. Okay, let's see. The one I want. Yeah. And who you tomorrow is Nasty Plot Salazzle. Very cool. Pop into this, see what's in the evolution pack we got. So here's our pre release promo. That's Lazzle. Nasty plot. Super good. Gastrodon. Eerie Fluid Earthquake. A Shellos. Beware. It's so fluffy. Really Stufa, a lily, kukui, great ball, timer mall, a regirock, gengar, some gengar, wow, look at our amplifying pain. Oh, you got a reverse, that's sick. Sophocles, that was the one, timer and salandit, one salandit. I'm gonna have to pull some. Okay. We got our uh, instructions here. Has the valley on it. Crimson Chaos across Alola. Mysterious Ultra Beast have arrived, invading the Alola region as a crimson tinged Pokemon GX. Can the allies can the allies defend Alola? Will the Ultra Beast take control? Find out when you battle for the prize in Pokemon TCG. Okay, let's see what kind of packs we got here. We have Guzzlord, Buzz, Guzzlord, Buzzhole, Sil Valley, Cortana. Let's open up Guzzlord first and see what happens here. One, two, three, energy. We're gonna get some first pack magic like we usually do. It's gonna be a dark energy. Ah, oh, it's psychic, nice. You can use that. Okay. We got Skidoo, Seed Bomb, Pikachu with some weird eyes, Houndor, Jigglypuff, Swine Up, Gastrodon, Zuelos, a Melt Tank with Moo Moo Malt, Psychic Memory, Amazing Pool. Oh, Psychic Memory was, was reverse. We got the Gyarados GX, guys. Woo! That's pretty sweet. That is pretty cool. That is awesome. I didn't see a magic card. <laughs> One, two, three, and an energy. Water energy. Nope, it's lightning. Okay. Staryu. Sweet. What's Cartana look like? A dino. Aaron. Ghastly. A counter catcher. Emolga. Grumpig. Reverse Mincino. And our rare is a Mammal Swine. Okay, Savale, save us here. Oh, we already got a full art Gyarados. But we need that magic art. Who knew I'd be searching these for a Magikarp? <laughs> Gotta search for a Magikarp. Starting with the Cubone. Mankey, that triple step strike. Another Salandic good we can evolve easier. Spoink, a Carablast. Miltank, Zuelos, a Devoured Field, good for Dark and Dragon types. Hakomo. And our rare is a Reggie Gigas Hollow. Very nice. Go ahead and throw a sleep. Okay, last pack. Last pack. And then some Yeah. I don't know. 
I got an awful lot of packages up to them. Two, three, and an energy. Okay. Let's hope for something good. Remember, we still need that magic card. Shellos. Bunnelby. There it is. Got the magic card. Chimeco. Lolan Guard. Cincino. A peaking red card. Reverse for is Stuffle. And our rare is that Wiggly Tough. So tough. Okay, guys, I'm going to build a deck now. We'll come back when we open some more packs at the end of the event and let you know what we get. Bye. Hey, everybody. We went. What was it? Two. One and two. We went one and two. Uh, we had a stall deck with uh, Gengar, Mo um, Mill Tank, and we ended up going uh, one and two. Uh, all were, all three were close games. I ended up just trying to finish off the packs at the end of it. So, Cortana is going to be our lucky pack, so we'll open up with Buzzhole. Well, look at that. Open up and there's that magic card we were looking for. So let's see what else we got here. One, two, three, energy. Energy is going to be a water type. Nope, it's lightning. What do we start with? I set my deck within. Alright, so we got magic card here. A Remoraid. Mankey with three step strike. Jango. Uh -oh. Cure Blast, a Call for Family Mawile, Grumpig, Peeking Red Card, a Fighting Memory, and Cacturn, Spiky Rend, and Hunt. So let's go ahead and put Fighting Memory aside here. Let's see what we get into Guzzlord. Nice. It's like it. We're gonna start with the land it. Starly. Skiddo. Pikachu. Get that Pika draw. A little injury, dude. Diggers B. A Hakamal. Countercatcher. Reverse foil is Jigglypuff. And our rare is Gorgeis. Pumpkin Bomb. Before doing damage, you may discard any number of Pokemon tools. This pack is for more damage for each card you discard. Not bad for a DCE. Okay, okay, lucky pack. It's gotta be something in this. Gotta be something in this to go along with our Gyarados. It is. Let's see. One, two, three, energy. Steel. Nope. Water. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we get. Let's start with that tickle. Monster. Mincino. A new mill. Swine up. Swablu. Swink. Diggersby. Hakamo. Countercatcher. Gastrodon Reverse, Uncommon, and a rare Primate. Ah, So it's unfortunate. All we got today was that Gyarados you guys saw in the video earlier. Um, I'll show off my deck and my pulls a little bit later. So see you guys then. Bye. Hello, hello, friends. So we're back. We're going to go over what my deck looked like for this pre-release. Um, didn't really want to stay at the, the pre-release event too much. We're back home, as you can see. Um, but we're going to go over what we what we played. And the reasons why, um, I also show off all the pulls I ended up going over again. Um, like, here's our deck. Obviously, it's missing the energy. But uh, we'll go over that in just a moment. We'll go over what we pulled. Uh, so at the end, this we pulled, We had some uh, some decent pulls. Let me see if we can, so we can get in on this instead of uh, let it fade away. So we get a Countercatcher. That's a pretty good trainer card. We got a Hakumo. Diggersby, um, let's see what it does. Dig, flip a coin of heads, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon. Hammer in, discard the top card of your deck. But it's only 90. If it was more, Diggersby might see some play. But both numbers are just a little low. Spoink, we got more of that. Swablu, a Swinub, a Numel. Tickle, there's a Tickle Lock thing. You paralyze your opponent over and over again. Another counter catcher, that's pretty good. Hakomo again. Diggersby again, and Alolan Geodude just kind of hiding there in the dark. Defense, Curl, and Tackle. There's a big uh, Alolan Golem in this set that is uh, pretty huge, 250 HP. We get the Pika Draw, 
Um, I still think most people are going to play the promo over this one. If you guys haven't seen the set number four, Crimson Invasion, there it is right there. It's the invasion. Um, we got a Skeeto, Starly. We couldn't use any of these things in our deck because we didn't pull them yet. We pulled these at the end. Um, Jangma O, Mankey, Rimmeraid, and Magikarp. Um, we pulled all those at the end, so we couldn't really utilize them in the deck. But I uh, just thought it's notable. You know, what, what we kind of pulled while we were there, uh, what we can start building with for new decks. I don't know if I will use that peaking red card, but uh, we'll see. And we also got Fighting Memory. We got Fighting and Psychic Memory, both reverse foils. Um, not sure if I'll even... I might just try to trade those. But at the end, you know, we got our... Um, yeah, we got... Our rares was Primate. Primate does low kick for 30 damage for double colors. And then Lutrophyte. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage. Um, could be useful. Not sure. Don't see many people playing that. Uh, Gore Guy seems interesting. Confuse Rays. Confusion is always a good thing, but it's better when it does damage. And then Pumpkin Bomb. It's great for Halloween. Before doing damage, you may discard any number of Pokemon tool cards from your Pokemon. If this attack does 40 more damage for each card you discard this way. So if you ever end up with a tool that just regenerates itself, Pumpkin Bomb, you can bet you'll see it because it's a double colorless energy and Gorgeist people love. And then Cacturn, Spiky Rend. Um, if, you're active, if your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this attack does 60 more damage. So, you know, one energy for 90, that could be useful. You know, Cacturn mixed with maybe a Gengar to put damage on, that, that could be useful. And then Hunt, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. This does 40 damage to the new active Pokemon. Uh, questionable, but who knows? It might come in handy. We got a Reverse Foil Gastrodon, which uh, we'll go over him again because we have the non holo versions that we decided not to play. And then a Foil Jigglypuff, and then, of course, Energies. So we'll just set those aside here for now. Um, some of the other things we pulled, notable things we pulled, I guess... I should say, from the first part when we were first uh, building, was uh, I'll set the energy aside or the extra sleeves aside. But we got the Vower Feel, which is pretty cool. Ups the damage of Dark and Dragon types, but I really wasn't going to play any Dragons or Darks. Could have used it with with um, Gyarados, but I thought 100 is is enough damage without the Stadium boost. We got a couple of Stuffle. This is from that Evolution Kit. We got Stuffle and Fluffy, which I think I went over briefly. You know, f does flop. It's finally a... Beware is finally a fighting type. Does cross cut. Does 120 damage to Evolution Pokemon. Takes 30 less damage from attacks of your opponent's non-fire type Pokemon. So anything that's not a fire type, you know, Fluffy gets burned up by fire. But, uh doesn't buy anything else but i wasn't sure i wanted to play fighting so because i ended up playing something else it's also gastron we had an option to use but i felt like it was gonna be too hard to build up gastron and an earthquake does 10 damage to each of your bench pokemon i didn't want to have to deal with that residual damage um and plus it was a it was a stage two i was already going to be playing gengar with psychic energy i didn't want to mix too many things it, it takes too many fighting energies really to be useful in that um, format and then from the packs we got um we got a swine up and a mama swine no pile of swine to go in the middle so we weren't able to use that but uh gnaw does 30 damage mama swine is a rare so it might have some notable attacks double stomp flip two coins is 30 more damage for each coin heads um so that can do 120 damage for a, a water energy and a double color this has 180 hp which is really high um it's almost as high as Gardevoir, to be perfectly honest. And then Forceful Tackle does 90 plus. You may put up to 9 damage counters on this Pokemon. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter you place this way. So it'll do 90 more damage if you put if you put damage on itself. So it can do 180 HP. You can do one shots with Mammoth Swine if you do two waters and a double colorless. That's a big attack cost. We got Bunnelby and Carablast. Nothing to evolve any of these guys. Star U, Core Fish, Rimmeraid. There's a new Rimmeraid we could put with our artillery line in most decks. We got uh, Emulga, 
which does uh, energy catch, put three basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Not a bad attack. Really can get your uh, energies back, but 60 HP is so low. Is it worth a prize card? Volt Switch, which is this Pokemon with one of your bench? Lightning Pokemon. So it has to be a Lightning Pokemon to be able to do anything. Here's the Alolan Graveler. Corkscrew Punch does 30 damage, so 30 damage from a Lightning type. For DC, he's not bad. And then self-destruct does a hundred damage to itself, knocks it out, but does a hundred damage. Um, could see play somewhere, but not really likely. Another Pikachu, Mankey to evolve that uh, into Primate. Three-step strike does uh, split three coins, does damage for how many heads. Cubone is a colorless attacker, so that's not bad. Leer um, paralyzes your opponent and headbutt does twenty. It evolves into a Lolan Marowak. We were hoping to see, but we didn't. Bell of Science is a bit of ability lock, which is kind of cool. Your opponent can't play a Pokemon that has ability from their hands during their next turn. But it, it's such a weak attack that it's just not going to be very good. So we chose not to play that. These are all the guys we chose not to play. Um, Grump Pig we could have played during your next turn. Opponent's Psychic Attack does 60 more damage. So it can build into a 120 attack. But um, we just didn't play it for some reason. Uh, Do we have a Swank? That could be why. We do have a Swank. I don't know. We didn't play it because... We were looking in another direction. So there's that Spunk Grump Pig. Um, Houndor, we didn't really want to play any Dark Energies. Same thing with Dino and Zuelo. So we could have bumped up the damage with Devour Field, but we decided to go on another route. Aaron Jigglypuff, uh, Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff just seemed counterintuitive from the rest of the stuff that we were playing, so we didn't play that. Regirock could have been cool, but again, we weren't playing Fighting Type, and we didn't have a Registeel, so we couldn't use the Rock Peak Growl. So it wasn't really a bit point. That's just a reverse for Hakomo. That wasn't very... We didn't play Stuffle or Beware, so there was no place for Stuffle. And we also got a Psychic Memory, also but reverse foil. And then we got the Hollow Regigigas, which we just had no way of shutting off abilities. Had no way of shutting off... Um, of healing it regularly. So we just decided not to play it at all. But 180 HP on a basic... Pokemon, discard any stadium in play, does 160 damage with Giant Stomp, but gets wrecked, absolutely wrecked by a Gardevoir. So that, there's Regigigas. Those are the notable pulls that we got today in our pre release. So let's go ahead, set those aside, set the code cards aside. We'll be redeeming those online once they, became ava once they become available on, I believe, November 3rd. But let's, without further ado, go into the deck of this. Set the sleeves aside. Set these guys aside. So what did we play? Oh, set these aside too. So here is the Pokemon line we played. We were we pulled we pulled that. Oh, where'd he go? Gyarados here. We pulled Gyarados in our first pack. So. We desperately wanted to work that into our uh, our deck. So we got lucky and pulled a Magikarp in the last pack. That's that last pack magic, right? To submerge, get the Waterfall Evolution to be able to play our Gyarados line. So we started this off with a Gyarados Magikarp. And then we said, okay, what, what can support that? We want to start with our pre-release promo um, because... That was actually the one I wanted because I love that first attack. That nasty plot. Search your deck for two cards and put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck. Um, I desperately wanted Salazzle for that one reason. Nasty plot is one of my favorite attacks in the TCG. Um, searching two deck, two cards. So it's it's similar to Arrow Ball from... Um, Talonflame, and similar to Vulpix's uh, Beacon, but Nasty Plot. I love the name. I love the, the uh, effect. Um, so this is a very good attack, usually, because you can search for any two cards. Oh, no, I dropped it. That's not a good sign. Anyways, you can search for any two cards, and this comes in handy with, you know, you can severe poison your opponent, have them take damage while you search for... Uh, Search for two cards that you can use next turn. So that's what I really like about Salazzle. So we played the one Salazzle they gave us, which we were hoping for more, but they didn't. Um, they gave us one Salandit, and we were able to pull one Salandit before the uh, before the event. So 
we were able to do a 2-1 line of Salazzle, which is funny because we still got Magikarp Gyarados out way quicker than Salazzle in every match. And then another good supporter was in this was this Gengar right here. Luckily, we got this in our Evolution Pack. That Gnawing cur Curse does so much. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand, put one uh, hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. And this stacks. So you can play both of your um, your Gengars. And it, it, it stacks. So you get Gnawing Curse up. And you get Gnawing Curse up. And you do 40 damage counters every single time your opponent plays an energy which was great and what do you need to um evolve into that you need haunter pain amplifier puts two damage counters on each of your opponent's pokemon that has any damage counters on it that is a great attack it's a cheap tapu koko um but you have to have damage counters on your opponent already to be able to use it with but you know what that generally happens when you're playing gengar you already have damage kind of on your opponent, so I'm looking forward to Gengar Haunter being a very good deck soon. It's at least going to be a fun rogue one. And then we pulled, they gave us two Ghastlies, and then we pulled one. Put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's a way, it builds into itself, this, uh, this Gengar Ghastly Haunter line, which is pretty cool. Now, for healing, we did end up still doing a little bit of healing, um, especially with Gyarados. And Gengar, we ended up healing with Miltank. Miltank was pretty much the star of anyone's deck at the pre-release tournament. It was uh, Moo Moo Malt all day long. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90 damage from that Pokemon. So what ended up happening, at least against me all the time, was I'd have two... I'd have two uh, Gengars down. They'd attach an energy, take 40 damage, and then heal 90 of it off. And that kind of sucked because it was made it almost impossible to take out Miltank itself. Um, 100 HP. It survives the, the 3 energy cost attack from Gyarados. Um, so I didn't really have the power to take it out. Fade to Black only does 70 as well. It doesn't matter if Miltank's confused. The ability still works. Um, so, I mean, that's why I played two of them myself. So I could put it in the active and heal while everything else was on the bench. But uh, it was pretty much mirror matches all the way because everyone seemed to have a Moo Moo Malt. Everyone seemed to have a Gengar. So it was kind of a stalemate in most matches. Um, and then the last Pokemon that we decided to play with was a one energy attack cost, Mencino. We didn't really get to the Chinchilla Pokemon, the Tickle Lock here. Uh, flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active opponent is not paralyzed. Now this came in handy in the last match. I was paralyzing... Raichu, Alolan Raichu, until I kind of gave up. And I was like, okay, retreat, Magikarp, Waterfall Evolution into Gyarados, and here's the game for you, my opponent. Um, but we're playing this because Sensino, amazing plea. Um, this is probably not going to have a lot of use in the actual TCG, but in pre-releases, it's interesting. Amazing plea, choose two cards from your discard pack. Then you may, then you ask your opponent if you may put them into your hand so hey can i put these two cards in my hand and they can say yes or no if they say yes you put those cards in your hand if they say no this attack does 80 damage to your opponent's active pokemon so it's a really cool kind of attack um so i was gonna test it out here and i didn't even get to use Sensino, but mincino tickle lock definitely happened for a little bit i was able to lock that uh lolan raichu from knocking out any of my pokemon for a little bit so, on to the trainers. I think that's all that's left. Just kind of one-ofs of everything. We ended up pulling a counter catcher before, so we were able to play it. Anytime we went down, we were able to use it as a Lysander. Great ball. Of course, look at the top seven you may reveal. You basically play any trainers you find in your first opening packs. Kukui, we need to boost our damage, draw some cards. Lily, draw some cards. Sophocles, discard two cards and draw four cards. Peeking red card, we pulled it, so we were going to test it out. You need to bite me in the butt every single time I played it because your opponent reveals their hand and you may, you don't have to tell them. If you like the, how stuck their hand is, you can tell them to keep their hand. But if they have all the outs that they need, you tell them to shuffle their hand and draw different cards. And uh, that tends to be what this is used for. I ended up using it wrong every single time. When they were stuck, I said, yeah, go ahead and shuffle your deck. And then they shuffled and got a good hand. 
ended up beating me because of that. Um, I guess let's put this down here. Timer ball. I think they gave us two of those. Yeah, they gave us two timer balls to be able to search out our Gyarados, Gengars, um, Sensina, Salazzles, Nest Ball to get down our basics, and another Lily to finish off the draw support. So there was my deck. Um, finished it off with, because it's a 40 card deck, not a 60 card deck. I finished it off with nine, nine Psychic Energies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five Water Energies. Because we didn't need a lot of water energies. Everything here attacks with psychic energies. Except for Gyarados. Which needs one water energy to work. So we played five water energies. So we'd be sure to at least hit it every single game. And we did. Somehow we ended up actually hitting Magikarp Gyarados. A lot more than Salad Salazzle. Which I was intrigued by. And we always hit our Gengars. So it was actually. I'm surprised I went one and two. But, like, everything that I ran into, nobody got a mini super amazing pulls. One guy got a Cortana, but he didn't even play it. Um, but, yeah, no one got super amazing pulls or that were able to play. I think I was one of the only ones that got a GX. But uh, tell me what I did wrong. You guys saw my cards. So without this, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and let you guys go now, though. And I uh, hope to see you guys on the pack days this week. But for now, this has been Dapper Drabby. We can't wait for some Crimson Invasion. And I'll bid you guys a Lola. Bye-bye now.